Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, my buddy Andy and I are continuing on with body and paint on my 89 Nissan 240SX. If you missed the last video, I've got a link to it down in the description box below, as well as a link to the entire build playlist, which has spanned a lot of years now. But we are seeing a lot of color being applied to some parts, and it's looking absolutely amazing. And you guys are going to see some serious transformation in this video, and a lot of parts that have already been painted. I know in the last video was, was a little bit more of a, a, a teaser of the the fresh midnight blue pearl paint. Um, but yeah, you're gonna see some serious paint in this video. We're gonna kick things off with the carbon fiber hood because it's gonna be probably the biggest focal point of the car's exterior, and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Before we get started, I'd like to extend a huge thanks and shout out to Klingspore and Transtar, both of which have been gracious enough to supply us with pretty much everything that we need to get the car refinished and refinished to a very high degree. And of course, a lot of credit goes to my buddy Andy as well, because he's a heck of a painter. So I'll be talking about some products and you guys will see some products in the background and whatnot throughout this entire process. So if you have any questions about anything in particular, feel free to post a comment below. I've also got some links to the respective companies down in the description so you can check out everything that they have to offer and learn even more in-depth information about any of the products that we're using. So thank you guys so much for the support. It really means a lot. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, Andy has started the initial prep work on the hood. Before he gets too far along, I wanted to basically just give you guys a quick overview so you can get somewhat of an idea of what our tentative plan is for refinishing this thing. Now, let's be honest, carbon fiber hoods already look really cool in just their raw state, but I wanted to do something a little bit more custom that would flow with the rest of the body color, the midnight blue pearl, because as you guys have seen so far, it's just an absolutely stunning color, and I wanted it to work with the carbon hood to be a really cool like standout accent piece so anyway the standout features of this hood are going to be left in exposed carbon so the NACA ducks on either side they're going to be an exposed carbon and almost the entire power dome is going to be left in exposed carbon so this spear right here that you guys see popping out all the way around wrapping around here about the middle of the hood and circling back that's going to be an exposed carbon including you know the scallop portions like the dip down portions here um, and we're also talking about possibly doing a painted accent piece on the crest here so as it goes into the the spear on back around that front one and around this middle one just a tiny little accent piece right there with all of the other exposed carbon. I think it's gonna look absolutely spectacular. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of shipping damage that we have to fix too, and I just noticed a couple other teensy little things, so we gotta get that fixed. Um, just a couple teeny little, or a few little teeny little cracks in the gel coat. Maybe the hood fell over in shipping or something. I don't know, but it's super, super minor. Um, but, you know, that's just part of the bodywork process and you got to work through it. But all of the extra effort that we put in here, or I guess I should say that Andy puts in here because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's just going to turn out really, really cool.
everybody. What's going on? Here we are, wrapping it up for the preparations on the hood, ready to get the color. We came up with a pretty nice, cool design. It's taking a little bit longer because nothing ever really lays out perfectly the first time. So there was definitely a roll of fine line tape used up with my head scratching and trying to uh, come up with a good design here. I think it's gonna really set a nice example to the car. And hopefully you guys enjoy it as well as much as we have come to like it. Uh, so just wait for the turnout. Get ready to shoot it and see what we get. The hood has turned out so good. All of the lines are super crisp. None of the tape lifted. We could not have asked for a better turnout. And everything that you see on the hood and all of the other parts that I'm gonna show you guys, that's just off of the gun. And obviously we don't have some super mega fancy paint booth, so there may be little bits, of little nibs of trash here and there. They're gonna have to be worked out. But uh, like I said, we could not have hoped for better. 
better results. And the whole car is going to be getting just a minor little cut and buff when everything's all said and done. So with everything that Andy has done, the products and the steps that he has gone through, the car is going to look like glass. I am so excited. And to be perfectly honest, all of this lighting does not do this color justice. The Midnight Blue Pearl, it is a very deep color, very, very rich, vibrant blue, a lot of very noticeable metallic flake. It's just, gosh, it's just gonna be spectacular. But anyway, the next bit of parts that I wanna show you guys is painting the front and rear bumpers. Now, Andy has painted a lot of other parts as well. Um, basically, all of the parts of the Type X kit are finished. He's finished repairing the original Type X front lip, you know, fixing those voids in the, in the mounting holes at the back sides. All of that stuff is done. And um, by the time this video is finished, he should pretty much have all of the individual parts in paint and will be, a bit bleh, will be ready to move the body over so he can start working on that. But as far as the front bumper is concerned, like I've shown you guys, I wanted to do something a little bit custom that would also improve cooling of the motor. So I had these OEM R32 Skyline you know, bumper vents that I cut into the bumper, fitted and all that stuff. There are some metal mounting tabs, but because the vents have just a slightly different shape uh, you know slightly different curve to them uh, versus the 180sx bumper we wanted to go a little bit further to making sure we didn't have any kind of separation or anything like that in the future basically we're going to permanently bond the vents to the bumper because i mean the holes are already cut so what difference does it make um so in order to do that we're actually going to be using a transstars plasto mend universal epoxy plastic repair in case you guys are curious, it's part number 1468G. It's an epoxy-based, easy-to-sand adhesive that offers excellent feather edging qualities. This stuff was designed for basic cosmetic repairs of all types of plastics. It's also excellent for repairs to body panels, grills, composite bumpers, headlight housings, interior plastics, and more. I've used this stuff in all sorts of different applications. It is awesome and it's very easy to use. It comes with these little tips that you screw onto the end of this you know, special gun and it automatically mixes the epoxy together in the tip so when it comes out, it's already ready to go. Andy, you know, feathered the edges out a little bit, you know, obviously prepped the plastic, you know, the 80 grit sandpaper here and there, just all of the essential contact points. But this stuff creates a very, very, very strong bond at the end of the day. So the vents are gonna work out really, really nice with the metal clips behind. It's actually gonna pull the edges of the 180SX bumper a little bit closer to the vents themselves. So once everything is fitted, we set it in the sun for a little bit, kind of let everything figure itself out. Turned out really good. Now let's move on to getting all of this stuff painted.
For the last bit of parts that I'm gonna show you guys in this video, we're gonna do the inner door skins. So the doors themselves, the outsides, will actually be painted on the car. We've got the body over there now. Andy has started prepping the roof and whatnot. So he's gonna get basically the roof painted, the car jammed out, and then we're gonna put the doors on, front fenders, you know, just some of the body panels just so we can make sure, you know, the bodywork is nice and straight and all the panels and everything are gapped appropriately and so on and so forth. Anyway, it's, it's a process. So let's go ahead and check out the doors and see how good they turn out. At this point, the vast majority of individual parts are painted. I apologize for not having a wider range of content on this process. I'm just spread really thin between Film and Andy, helping him, tackling this 62 GMC, and just editing reviews, just a lot of, I got a lot of stuff going on. So um, I really appreciate y'all's support. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing that too and make sure you turn those notifications on. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.